Today we're at the Pure Water Colorado Mobile Direct Potable Reuse Demonstration Facility in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And we're at Colorado Springs Utilities J.D. Phillips Water Resource Reclamation Facility, where they treat wastewater from the community to standards that are suitable for non-potable reuse like irrigation and industrial uses or discharge back to a receiving water. What this trailer does is it takes that water that's produced by this plant and then treats it to a higher standard to a potable water quality. This trailer is here intentionally so that we can have tours for the community and other folks that can learn about the direct potable reuse process and how it might fit into the future water portfolio for Colorado Springs and other utilities across Colorado. So it's natural for people to have questions and concerns about uh, taking treated wastewater and turning it into drinking water. And what we've found through this trailer, much as we have across the country at other potable reuse demonstrations, is that education really is key to getting people to understand the process and then have trust and, and faith in that water quality. Also very good. Now it's really about the water quality that matters. It's not the source of the water. We like to encourage people to think about the water quality and not judge it by its history. And so we test this water very extensively to make sure that it is meeting all Safe Drinking Water Act standards and even also removing things like trace organics and pharmaceuticals, which aren't regulated today, but it's important to have that message as well. Let's take a closer look at the treatment processes now. The water comes in right here and goes through the first treatment process, which is ozonation, which, breaks, which provides disinfection and also breaks down bulk and trace organics. Downstream of the ozonation is the biological filtration, which further breaks down uh, organics uh, in the water, as well as removing some particles that are, that are coming from the um, source water. The next treatment process is microfiltration, where we further remove uh, pathogens and any particles that remain in the water. And the granular activated carbon is um, a really important step for removing uh, the last remaining organics that are in the water as we get to our UV uh, disinfection step. So UV advanced oxidation and disinfection provides a final barrier for um, pa any pathogens that may remain as well as any advanced oxidation of organics. And then finally we go through to chlorine disinfection. The chlorine is a common uh, drinking water treatment process and we've got that before we uh, get the product water, the purified water that's ready to drink. So the mobile demonstration in a lot of ways is a game changer for our industry. Where historically we use reclaimed water for non-potable uses like irrigation, industrial uses and so forth, this helps us demonstrate to the community that we can take reclaimed water and treat it to drinking water standards so it can be used as regular drinking water for anything that we use it for today.